All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechach Dash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Right? Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechach Dash, Brach Dum. To use the quantum, Waikum Akwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments. To the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord, our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This brother Peshai, Ba'an Yahshua, let us be a quick lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. And I just want to go into Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, you know, go into the judgment that's coming, as well as, you know, mercy, all right, for the elect, all right, because the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, are being gathered and sealed in these last days. All right, there's also Revelation the seventh chapter. I may go into that through the spirit as well. All right, but I'm gonna start with Ezekiel the ninth chapter because a major judgment is coming to the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, man. All right, major judgment. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, will only have mercy upon a remnant, all right, which is the, um, his elect, right, the Israel of the Most High. You see that? The Heavenly Father has an election according to grace, all right, which is um, 144,000 down to the rest of the one third, as well as a large multitude. Gather from every nation, all right, that will have um, faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shah in these last days. And ultimately, they've been, been ordained. Let's, let's start with that, all right? Straight to these precepts, that's the book of uh, Second Edris, the uh, seventh chapter. No, the ninth chapter in verse seven. So, Second Edris 9 and verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved, right, and shall be able to escape by his works. All right, that's it also in the book of James. You know, uh, I'm gonna show my faith by my works. All right, so works is what keeping the commandments the best of your ability, going out to the houses and the hedges, which we uh, which we've been commanded to do as prophets, as men of the Lord. All right, it says, um, and everyone that shall be saved, they shall be able to escape by his works and, and by faith, whereby ye have believed, man. So that's everyone's gonna escape. What let's read on verse um, eight shall be preserved from the said perils. All right, the word perilous goes to what? Perilous means what? Dangerous. Going to the evils that's coming upon America, Babylon the Great, and throughout the entire earth, the entire planet Earth, man. All right, nothing but famines, death, calamities, bloodshed, race riots, and wars was coming to the soils um, of America, Babylon the Great, and throughout the world. All right, so the elect, you know, everyone that has faith and works. All right, so in these last days, you shouldn't be out here just doing whatever, uh, doing whatever the hell you want to do, having that um, Alistair Crowley spirit. All right, that do as thou wilt, satanic spirit. All right, if you out here doing whatever you want to do, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, will put your ass to death, man. He's not playing no games. Okay, now I'm gonna get that in Ezekiel 9 chapter. In this message to you, Israelites, you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. All right, and Israelites scattered, and the Israelites scattered abroad according to, uh, to the dios, di uh, diaspora. All right, because we've been scattered by all the nations pursuant to Genesis 27 chapter. If I'm mistaken, I believe that's verse uh, or the 28th chapter. All right, how the seed of Jacob be scattered to the east, to the north, to the west, to the south. Where we paraphrase in that beautiful scripture, as well as Deuteronomy 28th chapter, verse 64, amongst others, Ezekiel 37 chapter or 38th. No, I think it's 37. How you gonna gather from all the lands we've been driven? Um, also Jeremiah 16. All right, all the lands we've been driven, the Lord gonna gather us, man. It'll be no more said the Lord lived that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, shall live that brought the children of Israel out of the land of the north and of all the lands we have driven them, man. All right? So this message to you Israelites, you heathen nation, you're through. All right? I'm not speaking to you so-called white people. All right? You so-called Arabs. You so-called East Indians. You so-called Africans. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And yes, you have Israelites that look like those other nations. So this message is for them. All right? Not the Edomites. Not the Moabites. Not the Ammonites. Not the Japhites. Not the... Uh, uh, Elamites, all right, not the Ethiopians, okay, not the Cushites, none of them, all right. This is for the 12 tribes and the children of Israel. It's time for you to get your act together. Luke 13, verse 3 says, What? Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish, meaning die, all right. So, if you want to be a part of the elect, you have to show for faith and works, man, all right. Keep the commandments to the best of your ability. No more smoking weed, no more eating pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster, all right. No more celebrating your birthdays or these wicked holidays of this world. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's, 
you know, Independence Day, which is not your fucking independence, you clowns. All right, you Israelites that celebrate that thing, you still was in captivity in, in 1776, man. All right, picking cotton in the tobacco fields and sugar cane fields, catching hell, getting lynched, getting whipped. All right, your woman raped, your kids, you know, murdered and slaughtered, man. Time to, it's time for you to remember. Scriptures literally say what? Uh, seek the, uh, search out your fathers, man. All right, the most I require that which is past. All right, so that's why you Edomites are gonna pay what you did in the past, but you Israelites, you gotta understand this. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you Negroes, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, okay, you Mexicans, you are Israelites, all right? You are, uh, uh, I think I probably said Cubans already. You Haitians, you, uh, you West Indians, you're Israelites, man, all right? And if you don't get your act together, you're gonna, you know, man, when the Lord sent out the angels, them death angels, all right? The spirits created for vengeance, all right? When he sent Esau Edom to come down with that great wrath, which is his whipping stick, the sword, all right, on the left hand side, all right, you're gonna wish you came, you hearken to the prophets, you're gonna wish you came into this faith, man, and show forth faith and works. Let's read on. Ezekiel 9 and verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the elect have been sanctified from the beginning of the earth, man. To get delivered all right let's read on then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments man all right so if you cast the ways of yahweh bashim al uh you cast those away if you cast the ways of yahweh bashim al Shah away you're gonna dwell in what torments man you're gonna literally get torched in these concentration camps all right you're gonna literally starve to death that's torment right there you're gonna get eaten alive by wild animals all right, and also you're gonna, you're gonna burn in the missiles, man. All right, you're gonna dwell in torments because you abuse his ways, man. Let's read on. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, you receive benefits but have not known Yahweh Bashim al All right, the ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know his people does not consider. All right, it's the book of Isaiah. Let's read on. And they that have loved my law, when you go into the word law, that means to despise, to hate, okay. And then I have loathed my law, so you hate the laws of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You hate the ways of uprightness, of righteousness, okay? It says, while they had yet liberty, you had liberty, meaning what? Freedom or grace period to get your act together, man. All right? We have a grace period between both covenants, the old covenant, all right? Which under the old covenant, it was no mercy, straight death when you committed certain um, acts of sin. All right? We go into the law. You committed adultery, both of y'all got stoned to death. If your daughter was a harlot and he was a priest, she got burned with fire. Okay, you can't man upon man, they both get put to death, man. All right, woman on woman, death. All right, but now there's a grace period between the old covenant and go coming into the new covenant when we all gonna get changed. All right, so in between the grace period, we have our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shai who died for our sins. And now, what you got to do is try your best to keep those laws and commandments. All right, try your best in this grace period. You got liberty, let's read on. And when yet, when as yet, place of repentance was open unto them, which is right now. All right, the place of repentance are the prophets. That's mercy. When you see the prophets, that is that's the most high stretching out his hand to you wicked Israelites, man. All right, I'll say to you Israelites in general, all right, because we don't understand that the wicked is not going to get it because this prophecy will come to pass. It says, um, was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So y'all don't even understand the ways of y'all by Shemal Shai. Y'all don't understand the Bible. Y'all don't, don't, don't understand the truth, but y'all also despise it. Y'all can't stand it, man. All right. The same must know it after death by pain, because you're an Israelite. So at the end of the day, you're gonna know the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, but this time after death by pain. All right. It says, um, and I was put on what to get. Let's, let, let's jump down. Let's read on. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. All right, so our main focus is the elect. All right, because that's who the world's created for. Why? Because they helped Yahweh Shai, they aided Yahweh Shai in creating everything, man. So they're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All right, the first fruits. You see that? So um, they're going to get delivered, the righteous. Let's read on. And Lord willing, we're part of our number. Verse 14. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. All right, and I was pointing with the get, man. There's more I can get on this in this chapter. There's also in the eighth chapter as well, right? 
when you get the 8th chapter. But I'm going to get to Ezekiel the ninth chapter now, man. So many more Israelites are going to die than those that are going to get delivered in these last days. Look at Ezekiel the 8th chapter. No, the ninth chapter, Slaki, verse 1. All right, now we go to the 8th chapter. The women was weeping for time was. Our people was going off. The priest was going off. All the men of Israel, the whole time, was going off, man. All right? So let's see what the Lord did to him. Let's see what the Lord, this is what the Lord gonna do today as well. Ezekiel 9 and verse 1. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause um, um cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his, his destroying weapon in his hand. So the Heavenly Father is called um charging it, but giving um commandments, charges to the angels. Alright, let's read on. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate. Was live toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, and every, and one man among them was clothed with linen, with the rider's inkhorn by his side, and they went in. Right, Slakia, by his side, where am I? And he went in and stood beside the brazen altar. All right, and the glory of the heavenly Father, the power of Israel, was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with linen. Which had the rider's income by his side And the Lord said unto him Go through the midst of the city So the Lord gave charge to this angel Now I believe that was like the angel Like of higher rank than the rest of them Alright if, if I'm not mistaken Right the Lord said It wasn't just one It wasn't just one angel Alright We're gonna say it Let's read on And the Lord said unto him Go through the midst of the city Through the midst of Jerusalem And we know Jerusalem is a people Before it's a place So uh, uh, to you Israelites So called blacks, Hispanics And Native Americans Let's read on and the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, right? Through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark, all right? A mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination be done in the midst thereof. Now, when you go into the Hebrew, all right? Because you have to go into the Hebrew, you have to study the shoot that's self approved, right? So when you go into that word mark right there in that chapter, right? The Hebrew word is Thawa, all right? Which literally means to be um, a sign of exemption from judgment, all right? Which is similar to that seal in Revelation 7 chapter, all right? So actually talking about the same thing, all right? Because the elect getting sealed in these last days, all right? So those are the men that sign and that's crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. And who's doing that today? Start with the elders and apostles, Great Millstone on down, all right? Those that have rehearsed the righteous acts, all right, it says, go through the midst. Let's read it from the top. It's Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. All right, so who's sighing a crying right now? All right, the elected nation of Israel. Also, 2nd Edges, 15th chapter. All right, it goes to that as well. The souls of the, uh, of the just complain continually. All right, so the literally say what? Give him no rest, day nor night, till he establish and make Jerusalem praise upon the earth. So we always praying to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. When brothers go to the highways and the hedges, they're crying to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai to deliver us from this wicked, abominable place. All the bomb, all the adulteries, all the abominations, all the idolatries, you know, all the uh, the murders, the pedophilia, the bestiality. All right, the evil eye towards one another, all the wickedness, the violence that goes on in this place, man. All right. Let's read on. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right? So the others that don't have that thawa to be exempt from the judgment, the Lord said, put them to death, man. All right? That's what happened again in these last days. Let's read on. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right? So don't have no mercy upon him. Don't let your eyes spare him. Right? Slay utterly old and young. He don't care. The Heavenly Father doesn't respect the persons, man. He don't care if, if you're 70, 80 years old. He don't care if you're a newborn baby, one, two, three, four. He don't give a he don't care. Alright? He says, put them all to death. Slay utterly old and young, both maids, which is um women, women servants. Alright. And little children. And women. So woman was mentioned twice, man. Woman servants and woman. So you women gonna get the, the, the judgment the worst, man, because feminism, and this happened back then as we were for Tom Muz, but in today's time, feminism is at an all-time high. Alright? Social media has put your woman's uh pride to an all-time high. 
all right? Oh, Sims putting these women on pedestals. The Lord gonna put you women to death, man. All right? You niggas too. But why did the Lord mention women here twice, man? He said put maids to death, little children, and women. All right? The Lord does not respect the persons, man. The Lord not gonna spare a pretty face. Okay? Let's read on. But come not near any man. Don't come near any man. Right? So it starts with the men. So that's why I seem to... So like that's the same thing with Noah, right? Noah had that thought. Why? Noah was a man of the Lord. So since the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh Bashim, shall have mercy upon Noah, he had mercy upon Noah's three sons, Noah's first, Noah's wife, of course, Noah's three sons, and their wives because of Noah. All right? So if you're a man of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, shall you have this mark of exemption, the Lord will protect you, your wife, if she, do, if she do right by you, of course, and your children because you have faith in Yahweh Bashim, Shai. Let's read on. It says, um, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient man who was before the house. So scriptures literally say what? Judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And that's those who know the Israelites, man. And back then, I was the ancient man, the, the, the priest, the elders, those that was going off because the Heavenly Father literally took Ezekiel and showed them all the wickedness that people were doing back then in the eighth chapter. And also the seventh chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Let's read on. He said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew in the city. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, Lord Power, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel and thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? So the prophet Ezekiel said, Lord, you gonna, you gonna kill every Israelite, man? You gonna kill everybody? Right? That's what the Heavenly Father said. Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. And the land is full of blood And the city full of perverseness For they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth And the Lord Yahweh seeth not So the same thing today man You people you wicked demonic demons Don't think Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is watching you man One you're his chosen people His eyes are always upon the chosen people That's in the scriptures Alright Also mainly upon the elect Alright Because he's purging them So they come out as pure gold But he still see all you wicked Israelites man All the ways that you're doing Right, you you're following the ways of the heathen, the ways of this world. The heavenly father, the Alba Shemal Shah, literally watching you, man. All right, but you think he, he's not seeing your wickedness, man. You think you commit adultery behind closed doors, oh, don't see that. You think you can continue uh doing wickedness behind closed doors, the heavenly father don't see it. You think you can bow down to these idols and Lord not gonna see it. The heavenly father's watching you, man. Let's read on. And as for me also, mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I'll recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen. Watch this. Is the point with the gift. All right. And behold, matter of fact, what's the point? Let me see. Oh, when I when I read verse six, right, it said then they began at the ancient man before the house. So it was more than one angel. We start verse one. You know, says it. All right. So them angels, man, <laughs> they got they they have that assigned mission, and they're gonna fulfill the will of the heavenly Father. Let's read it. Verse eleven. Now it says. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the ink on by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. So the angels, man, they don't have pity. When the heavenly father tells the angel to do something, they're going to just do it, man. They're not going to be like, but, but Lord, you know, that's a child, man. But the Lord is not respect the person. He knows, he, he knows every spirit, man. All right. The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Al knows literally every single spirit. See that? So they report the matter and they said, listen, we have done everything you commanded us, man. So guess what? In these last days, judgment is coming. All right, but I'm ending with one more precept. Because guess what? Mercy also is coming as well. Let me see. Uh, the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk 3 and verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shai Gayanoth. O Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make known in wrath, remember mercy. So guess what? In these last days, when the Heavenly Father shows off his wrath, he will remember mercy towards his elect. All right, those that got the Tawa. So endure until the light ends, we can call it an election sure, brothers. All right? And all you, all you Israelites out there, you better repent and get right. Or your Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will put you to death, man. Okay? So continue enduring, Akim. Um, you few sins out there that believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, endure and keep the faith, no matter what you, um, you're going through. 
All right, and this this is a stern warning, man. The Heavenly Father said, "What? Well, give them warning from me." So with that, I want to give Kol Laim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Mechak Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Peace and salutation, like Scotty the Broad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, I say Shalom. While Baba Ball, Shalom.